The automobile has been around for over a hundred years, and in that time there have been such revelations in transport as the Honda Civic and the Ford F-150. But however, there are some cars that fall, fell through the gaps and maybe didn't live up to the high standard that those wonderful automobiles set. In this video, I will be ranking and discussing some of the worst cars ever produced, whether they were just slow or uninspiring or poor quality or just simply bad. The first automotive abomination on this list is the Shelby Cobra. And while many regard the Shelby Cobra to be one of the most iconic cars of all time, unfortunately, I am here to tell you that it is not so. If you're wondering why I would say that such a legendary car is terrible, look no further than the exhaust pipes. If you were, say, slightly absent-minded when getting in or out of one and let your tender little calf touch against the flaming hot exhaust pipe of this aluminum death trap, your leg would be overcooked worse than a school hamburger, and you would be writhing in pain, or even worse, not writhing in pain because it burned off all your nerves. And also, this car and its Ford V8, which is something that you would think would be a great engine and would save such a car from doom because it came in such amazing cars as the Mustang II and even the all-conquering Ford F-150. You would think that this engine that is supposedly one of the greatest would be able to save such a car, but alas, that's not the case. However, the raw power of the Ford V8 overwhelms the poor construction of this tiny little British sports car and cracks the body, and that's no good. And also, it was built by a crazy old Texan by the name of Carroll Shelby. And while many regard him to be one of the best automotive builders of all time, honestly, I think he was better at making chili. And I think that the only reason this car isn't lower on the list is because of the atrocious car that is at fourth place, which is the Nissan R34 GTR. The Nissan GTR is regarded by many to be one of the most iconic cars of the 90s. And I would say that the R32 and the R33 are not the greatest, but also they're somewhat bearable. But the R34, which is argued by many to be the greatest of the GTRs, is possibly the most overrated car of all time. And not only does it cost an exuberant amount to buy one, if you even can in the United States, it they also come in uninspired and honestly tasteless colors such as Millennium Jade or Midnight Purple. And paying $500,000 or more even, for something that basically looks like a Nissan Maxima with some funny looking bronze wheels and a wing or something like that really just isn't appealing to me. And the engine, which is, again, argued by many to be one of the best of the 90s, the RB26, is notoriously unreliable with big power. And compared to the engines like the 2JZ or the K24, it just isn't really that great. And worst of all, if you want to consider it a real true driver's car, it has to be real-wheel drive. But this is all-wheel drive, and the only cars that really should be all-wheel drive are rally cars. And that's why the Nissan GTR, unfortunately, has to be on this list. The third worst car on this list is the BMW M3. And again, this is one of those cars that is regarded by many to be the pinnacle of German engineering. And I think that, while maybe they have a point, it's just, come on, it's, it's a BMW sedan. Like, how good can it really be? Like, it comes with a really terrible sounding uh, inline six in many cases, and the ones that don't come with an inline six come with an underpowered inline four, which is even worse. And honestly, like, if you want something that's gonna cost all sorts of money, don't make it look like a pizza delivery car that every lanky, floppy-haired teenage boy drives around at twice the speed limit and almost runs over pedestrians in. Buy something that actually looks smart or buy something that's flashy and can distinguish itself from the garbage that are being driven around by the Tylers 
and Travis's of the world. And that's why I think the BMW M3 is kind of a stupid car, is because even if you spend 50 grand on one, it still makes you look like a doofus. Finally, the worst car on this list is none other than the Toyota Supra. And I know that we've already talked about the great Nissan GTR, but the Toyota Supra is this car, but on steroids. As in, it does have rear-wheel drive, which I guess could be a benefit, and it's got a better engine than the GTR, but oh my god, super fanboys are the worst people on earth. Like, actually, they sit behind their parents' computers, and they're like, Well, 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 the Toyota Supra is the best car, it's <laughs> Okay. If, if you're gonna be like that, then, you like, block. <laughs> but, I, all jokes aside, I... The, the super fanboys, along with the GTR, but really it's just the super fanboys that are like, you know, this is the best car ever, 2JZ. And no, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's $100,000 for something that basically looks like a Corolla with two fewer doors. I mean, <laughs> uh, 